Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Jason is here again. Uh, we are here in Hartford, Connecticut at Cedar Hill Cemetery and we are in the presence of entertainment royalty. We are here with four-time Academy Award winner, K Catherine Hepburn. She was born and raised in, uh, in Connecticut. She attended Bryn Mawr College just outside Philadelphia, received her degree in history and philosophy. The in the same year, she debuted on Broadway with a bit part in the play Night Hostess in 1928. It also marked the year of her only marriage to businessman Ludlow Smith. They divorced uh, in 1934, but Ludlow was very supportive of her afterwards. Uh, her first motion picture, a bill of divorcement in 1932. She won her first Academy Award for her role in Morning Glory. By 38, she was unquestionably one of Hollywood's top figures. But after a success, but after a series of commercially and critically unsuccessful movies, her career went into decline. Her descent was exasperated by her very outspoken anti-Hollywood attitudes and un unwillingness to speak to the press and she was labeled box office poison. She returned to the stage in Philip Ball Ball Barry's The uh, Philadelphia Story, a uh, play written specifically for her. And then uh, MGM started teaming her with Cary Grant and Jimmy Stewart and uh, Spencer Tracy in, uh, Woman of the Ye in 1942's The Woman of the Year. Uh, they uh, did remain together even though Tracy was married until Tracy's death in 67. They made nine films together. Hepburn made over 40 films 16 and 16 plays, received 12 Academy Award nominations, a record that stood until 2002. She wore four times, which is more than any other actor or actress in the history of the award. For, uh, and, her, and her most best known roles were Bringing Up Baby, The Philadelphia Story, Adam's Rib, African Queen with uh, Humphrey Bogart, Rooster Cogburn with John Wayne and On Golden Pond with Henry Fonda, which I got to admit, that's one of my, that, that is a, my favorite film of hers. Her last film was 1994's Love Affair, and she died in, at her home in Connecticut at the age of 96. So she was a living legend that definitely lived. So that's the family marker. And right here is her headstone where she is presently well, I suppose permanently buried. And I see people have been leaving uh, shells. Some interesting stones. And some golf tees. She must have been a golfer. I did. I on Golden Pond. I really did enjoy that movie. I don't know why. It's not my typical type of movie. But uh, all I can say is uh, thank you, madam, for all the entertainment and all the pleasure that you brought to the world with your talents. So with all of that, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we'd love to have you subscribe and uh, hit the bell so you always know when uh, we post things. And until next time, uh, this is Jason, and I will see you all on the next one. Bye.